Well, good morning from Prescott, Arizona. Yay! We stayed at the Hotel Vendome last night. We did not get haunted. So, uh, although neither of us really slept very well either, I don't think. That's uh, okay. We are in the historic Courthouse Plaza area. Um, they actually have, I left Buddy here on this bench because I ran over to the um, tourist office to pick up. They have a heritage, history heritage trail, heritage trail and history hunt adventure guide. So they have these different sites, mostly around here in the courthouse uh, plaza area where you like answer little questions in the booklet or whatever. And then when you're done, you can go back to the tourist office and they give you a little button for completing the um, adventure tour or whatever. So we're gonna do a little bit of that right now, starting with the Rough Rider statue, and then uh, we'll report back and get him his button on. Right on. You ready? You excited? Yeah. Let's do this. All right. All right, we have breakfast in that joint, sort of like a touristy place, but oh my God, they have some of the best bacon I've ever had. It was delicious and really good. Really, really, really good waffles. Yeah, our first stop on the adventure trip is the Rough Rider statue. Let's go get it. Oh, this is cool. They have like a timeline of Yavapai County, which is the county we're in. It also includes Sedona, Seligman up by the uh, I-40 and everything. This is cool. Ah, there's the fire that took out Whiskey Row. I like the representation of fire there. This is really neat. Oh, it goes all the way around. So you can just like do a little U-turn get yourself caught up but here Rough Rider statue this is stop number one for us on our history hunt adventure tour very cool oh my gosh look at these tiny names huh. neat this is awesome at the statue and just checking out the um, county courthouse of that place and so we're on a treasure tour although I never toured treasure before so it should be fun um, so we will always report back later got to be one of the prettiest courthouses <laughs> well one of the prettiest courthouses I've ever seen that's for sure it's beautiful that stop too but unfortunately because there are stairs to get up here we're gonna view it from basically where he's standing that's okay we don't need I've certainly had enough of courthouses myself I don't need to go into this one at any rate so cool out here it's really beautiful and the weather is awesome. Oh, I didn't even see this um, thing on the back here. They have this bandstand in the way. I wonder what it was for. But anyway, wow, very cool. Ah, this is, and there, there's a horse's ass. I'm definitely on the wrong end of this horse. Get off the business end. All right, buddy, you ready to, to find the next spot? So what's that gold thing? What's that gold thing? I'm not sure, that was a good question. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a survey marker. I love these things. Usually I find them on the tops of mountains, but here's one right here. It's not the easy button. All right, can continue our cruise through the Yavapai County timeline here. This is a really cool thing. I've never seen this before. I haven't been to Prescott in forever. Okay, I guess the Verde Valley is also part of Yavapai County. That's where we're heading later today. 
to uh, Cottonwood because we're gonna hit Jerome. What's up, Jerome? And a map of the county. Neat. All right, right turn, Clyde. Like the compass. Oh dang, they even have the declinate declination on their uh, compass. That's pretty cool. All right, we're trying to find a plaque for this Cory House. There's one around here somewhere. We got questions to answer. There's tests in this booklet and we didn't bring a pen, so they're just gonna have to take our word for it. Also on the history hunt is a hole. It's actually a well. Kind of a weird place to have a well, but cool. And they have a little interpretive sign. You know, I love my interpretive signs. Oh my goodness, of course I took pictures of that. Anyway, we're gonna kick back over and walk over down uh, Whiskey Road because Buddy wants to find some books about all these ghosts in this town, especially the the one where we stayed last night at the Hotel Vendome. The, Ms. Abby and her kitty noble. We're gonna go see if we can find a book about it, right? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. We're having a nice after breakfast stroll. This is definitely what we needed. And there's a beautiful day out here. Oh my God, Prescott's gorgeous. I haven't been here in forever, but having a good time. How about you, bud? You having a good time? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Let's walk home. We're back in Whiskey Row, which is mostly a bunch of tourist trips. But it's also on our adventure tour. Wild at heart. Yeah, tourist galore of ooh, sloth. I see a sloth, baby sloth. Ah, it's a beautiful day. Oh my God, this place is so, so cool. I really, really enjoy it. I like that they have all the history signs and and plaques everywhere too. And this place has got a lot of history to it. Good times. All right, our tour of the uh, Courtyard Plaza is over. We got our history, history hunt adventure buttons at the Chamber of Commerce. They were super nice. That also used to be the city jail. It's funny that it's the Chamber of Commerce now. At any rate, now we're here at the Charlotte Hall Museum. We got lunch to go from Nick's Feed Your Face Sandwiches, which is like right around the corner. Pretty economical joint, but this place looks like it's awesome. It's like a multi-acre um, sort of museum and historic center here, really close to the downtown area, maybe like less than a half a mile away. Of course we drove, can't walk them everywhere, but yeah, so we're gonna check out the museum here, have lunch, cruise around, and then we'll make our way to uh, Cottonwood in the Verde Valley. Let's go, let's go. Please proceed to the museum. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, well, this place is beautiful. They have all kinds of buildings here and they do have decent accessibility which is nice i'm always uh on the lookout for accessibility making sure that rad brad can get wherever it is we want to go they allow you to have picnic lunches in here once you buy your entry it's 12 dollars per adult and then uh, they're open from 10 until 5 so you have you know when you buy your ticket you can come in and out of here if you didn't bring a lunch but I just figured it'd be easier with Brad Brad to grab lunch and bring it in here. And then that way we can just do our thing here and uh, move on out. But we're gonna go into building one on our tour. Oh, also they have here um, a scavenger hunt also. So we're gonna see if we can find the items in the scavenger hunt. I don't know if they have a commemorative button or a winner thing, but we'll find out. All right. All right, this museum is actually fantastic. Apparently it's like a Smithsonian 
um, museum. It was really nice. But, I mean, I love these old safes. Like, those are badass, all hand-painted and everything. Just making your uh, money keeper look really, really pretty. But they have done an excellent job in here. And several of the buildings have docents in them so they can tell you about what you're seeing a little bit because the grounds map, which is the brown piece of paper, doesn't have a ton of information on it. And I don't think they have like an audio tour or anything. So they've got docents in four buildings and then a bunch of wandering around. But I mean, they've done a really great job with their interpretive displays and some really cool old stuff. What the, what even is that? That just looks like dangerous. What is that? Fruit pitter. Okay, good thing. Cause I totally would not have guessed that. Looks like some sort of medieval torture device. <laughs> you like that, do you? Oh wow, oh, look at this. So cool. That's the escape room. Or was that Jodie Foster maybe where she like locked herself in her safe room? Yeah, probably not making it out of there. Good thing there's an air hole. All right, Rad Brad is no longer the creepiest thing I've seen all day. Apparently, the men in this town would do their best to be creepy as hell. Like, what even? He just foresaw Planet of the Apes. That guy, there's a V for Vendetta guy, anonymous. Oh, hey, what the heck? Good times in Prescott. What? Fake ostrich races. Nice. <laughs> Holy moly. This place is great. Oh, and it's like a Chewbacca Ewok Sasquatch thing in the middle. Man, it's a good thing it doesn't get that hot up here. Okay, so I'm doing a little side trip for Brad Brad because I've already walked him a lot today, probably the most he's walked and who knows how long. So anyway, the uh, the tour actually goes the opposite direction from where we're sitting. So it sounded like he was kind of getting tired and not really wanting to come over and check this out. But here's the print shop. This is actually pretty rad. I don't know why I'm like fascinated with like these drawers, like tiny shallow drawers, probably because that's what the old uh, topo maps used to come in when they were actually printing those still. Now they're all online, of course. But this is pretty rad. So I told him I would come down here and take a few pictures for him so he didn't have to. Oh, they have a bunch of samples up there. Too bad you can't see any of them. I don't think we're allowed in here. And we got our old timey mercantile with weapons of pokey destruction. And it's interesting, mercantile, I figured this would be like where they would have like all the food and stuff like that. Well, it looks like they got, they got the hooch. They got the important stuff. And they really did do a great job here. This place is really beautifully done. And they have the blacksmith shop. Speaking of implements of pokey destruction. Pretty sure the fan's not period, but <laughs> where are the silver ducting back there? No, oh, maybe not. No, no. I don't know shit about blacksmithing. What do I know? 60 hours of work for $15.54. Wow. Although, frankly, that's still making more than I do as the founder of a nonprofit organization. Goodness. This place is so cool. So, and they have a giant windmill here that was built in 1869 and used on a ranch near here. Hello. Oh, geez. Creepy guy under the tree. All right. <laughs> Lunch is over. Moving on. You ready to go? Yeah. Holy moly, this schoolhouse is tiny. Hey, Rad Brad took up like half the entire front. School kids must have been smaller back then. 
in that first year, there were five. Stoop. Stoop, stoop, stoop. <laughs> this is actually like so, such a low door that I have to duck. That never happens. We're in Fort Misery. And I guess if you brain yourself on the low ass door, it would be miserable indeed. Ooh, punch 10. I love it. Very cool. Mm -mm. This place is so cool. I'm just digging it. I definitely highly recommend a visit to the Charlotte Hall Museum. It's pretty awesome. We are at our final stop, the Bashford House. Pretty cool. I, I love the old stained glass stuff. I kind of miss doing that. Anyway, we're gonna go in here and turn in our uh, scavenger hunt items. What did you think of the? What did you think of the uh, Charlotte Hall Museum, buddy? Awesome. Yeah. Right on. Everyone's so friendly here. Man, this town is great. I love it.